Hi Sanjay, it's lovely to see you here today on the launch of Lena's book, My Path to Pradnya. So, uh, what is your emotional quotient? How do you control your emotions? What do you do? How do you deal with it? Yeah, actually it's very difficult because being an artist, I go through a lot of mood swings and ups and downs of you know my life. But I try to control, I try to try to control myself, my mind, and I write, I paint. And when I paint, I'm, I, it's, it's uh, like a therapy for me. Mm. So it's a yoga, zen uh, space for me when I paint. And uh, of course, music and reading and all these things. But especially when I paint, and I'm into abstract, so it, it gives me a really inner, inner peace, you know. And I must tell you that, you know, we all go through, you know, emotional ups and downs, and we all have some kind of inner quest, and we have a lot of uh, psychological, emotional, mental issues. Unless we don't understand our own existence and you know what we should achieve this will be like we'll be in a round and round you know a trip like a circle. in a circle you know so i think this kind of books you know can give us i will not say change the life but that can lead you you know i show you the path and agar kisi ne ek ungli bhi dikha di ki is raste pe chalna hai to bahut badi baat hai like a guide like a guide yeah 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 so uh are you a spiritual person? Do you believe in spirituality? I think every artist is a sp spiritual person because if someone is, if someone is not believing in in, in some something creative, something positive, something interesting, then that person cannot be artist, and that person has to be spiritual. I am not religious. I don't go to temples or churches or wherever. I, I don't pray to God, you know, for small small things. But I think something is there which you know uh, makes me feel positive. Something which guides me, you know, when I'm I mean I am in a problem. And I don't want to define that element. And um, yeah, I mean, you, we all feel that, you know, there is a spirituality, there, is, there should be a guiding force. And it's, 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 uh, it's a permanent quest, you know. So I'm a seeker, I can say. So like, as they say, as time goes, uh, things change. Hmm. But do you think as time goes, people change? Of the course, of course, changes? of course. Of course, and, I, and, and I'll tell you something. I've seen the wisest guys, you know going through depression, going through uh, existential qu uh, queries and uh, they are confused. And I'm the people I really admire and I really feel that they are so wise. But they have same problems, you know. The matra, the, you know, the, the content may be here to there, but they all go through. And I'll tell you something, I have read one book of uh, Swami Vivekananda's life and the last days of Swami Vivekananda, he also had a lot of questions about life and God and whatever, you know, and, and the spiritual path. So, I mean, Vivekanand, so I know you're an avid reader, you've got a yeah. fantastic collection, but uh, you were mentioning about depression, about challenges of such yeah. sort, and yeah. everybody has a journey. But then what is your formula of life? Lately, I have uh, tried to apply or tried to um, act, you know, like take a day as it comes. Don't think beyond a day. Because otherwise also it's not in my control. If I think after five years, what I'll do at two years, it's not in my control. So I'll, I try to manage, you know, the focus uh, for next one or two days. Like Buddha has said, you know, don't look beyond six feet. So you don't know what is going to come. If you're trying to look at it, then the journey will be very difficult. So I think this Lina's book... Um, Lina's book has got yeah, a chapter in Formula of... Life. Really? So I, I, I want to, you know, read the, the chapter and, you know, Maybe I'll get some... I think you might even like Kathasis of the Soul. There's another chapter on that. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, thank you Sanjay so much. My pleasure. pleasure. And I wish uh, Lina Hegde great success of this book because this is not the book, a normal book about, you know, fiction or about something about the glamour or politics. It's, it's about wisdom. And the wisdom is the biggest gift one can give. All the best.